When you think of a fungus, typically nerve repair is the furthest thing from your mind. However, there's been a tremendous amount of new and exciting information on the best looking fungus of them all, lion's mane. Lion's mane mushrooms have a long history of use in traditional Chinese medicine where it was used as a tonic to support heart health, promote digestion, and increase longevity. Buddhist monks and many enlightened elders use lion's mane mushroom powder as a tea to enhance brain power and heighten their focus. Now, in modern times, due to an extensive amount of research done on this unique looking mushroom, lion's mane plays a unique role with supporting brain and peripheral nerve health. Today, I'll take you on a journey where we'll explore how this mushroom supports nerve health, repairs nerve damage, alleviates nerve pain, and improves cognitive function. You don't want to miss this. Coming up. Hey gang, Dr. M here. If you're ready to conquer your peripheral neuropathy, reclaim your life and start living again, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell to get notified as soon as we publish new content. Now let's dive in. Lion's mane mushroom, also known as Yamabushitake or monkey head mushroom, is well known for its unique appearance. It's large, white, and shaggy, resembling a lion's mane, and it has a long-standing history of medicinal uses throughout the ages. In fact, as early as 450 BCE, the Greek physician Hippocrates identified this mushroom and others as potent anti-inflammatory agents. So let's talk about how it nurtures your nervous system. The scientific name for lion's mane is Herenesium erinaceus, or sometimes pronounced as erinaceus. It's rich in the bioactive substances, erinacines and hericinones. One of the most remarkable aspects of lion's mane is its ability to stimulate nerve growth factor, or NGF, which orchestrates the growth, maintenance, and repair of nerve cells. It's this ability that allows it to play a pivotal role in nerve protection and nerve growth. As a matter of fact, this mushroom has been studied extensively because of its neuroregenerative properties. And what studies have uncovered is its ability in reversing the effects of nerve injuries and nerve damage in both the central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord, as well as your peripheral nervous system. Lion's mane also acts as a guardian for your nerves, providing protection from ongoing damage. And it does this in two ways. First of all, this mushroom is rich in uh, oligosaccharides, a specific carbohydrate found also in onions, red and green cabbage, kale, and broccoli for a few examples. Now, unlike complex carbohydrates found in grains, oligosaccharides act as prebiotics for your gut improving gut health. And more importantly, they don't raise glucose levels or cause insulin resistance. In fact, they actually imp improve glucose tolerance and can aid in reducing blood sugar levels. The second way lion's mane provides nerve protection is through its rich source of beta-glucans, a soluble fiber. Both oligosaccharides and beta-glucans act as powerful antioxidants, shielding nerves from oxidative stress, stress, which can cause damage to peripheral nerves and neurons in the brain over time. Now, just as a brief recap, oxidative stress and inflammation can lead to any type of peripheral neuropathy and neurodegenerative diseases of the central nervous system like MS, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, cerebral ataxia, and many more. And don't forget, Oxidative stress can be caused by numerous factors such as a diet high in trans fats, sugar, and processed foods. It can be caused by many medications. Your body can also experience oxidative stress as a result of pollution, consuming foods exposed to pesticides and other chemicals, or regular alcohol consumption. It can also be caused by smoking or use of any type of tobacco or even vaping. Researching confirms that even chronic stress contributes to inflammatory oxidative stress in parts of the brain and the peripheral nervous system. Studies have found that lion's mane provides protection for the nerves and it can decrease inflammation resulting from the oxidative damage. 
It also protects the mitochondria of the nerve cells from toxicities. And I have to tell you, this is huge, guys, because over the past four to five years, Dr. C and I have been seeing more and more cases of peripheral neuropathy caused by significant mitochondrial dysfunction and damage. Now, what makes this mushroom equally as effective on neurons of the brain is its main components, uh, hericinones and erinacines. Both of these easily cross the blood-brain barrier to boost the production of new healthy neurons, also known as neurogenesis. Okay, guys, get ready for a side note. Research has also revealed that lion's mane has demonstrated the ability to promote remyelination of the nerves. This is a significant finding because most sensory neuropathies and hereditary neuropathies involve myelin damage. So just for a brief review, the myelin sheath is the protective coating around your nerves, including those found in the brain and the spinal cord. Now, let me paint a picture for you. Think of your nerves like electrical wires that transmit signals in your body. The myelin is like the insulation around these wires, just like the plastic or the rubber covering on an electrical cord. Its job is to help the electrical signals travel smoothly and quickly along the nerve. When the myelin sheath is damaged, it's similar to the insulation on an electrical cord getting worn or stripped away. Without proper insulation, the electrical signals in your nerves can become slower or weaker. And sometimes they may even get mixed up and distorted, which can result in bizarre symptoms like electrical shock-like pain or burning sensations. Or these signals can get lost along the way and may result in symptoms like numbness, for example. This destruction to the myelin is called demyelination. So in simple terms, damaged myelin can disrupt the smooth flow of messages in your nervous system, potentially causing t uh, issues with movement, sensation, and other bodily functions, which can be seen in peripheral neuropathy and central nervous system diseases like multiple sclerosis. And lion's mane has the ability to remyelinate these damaged uh, nerve fibers with the uh, myelin damage. So that's huge. Another great aspect of lion's mane is that it protects your nerves from the damaging effects of ischemia. Ischemia is a condition where blood flow is restricted or reduced in part of your body, which will result in decreased oxygen and nutrients to the area. Ischemia can definitely cause nerve damage because your peripheral nerves are dependent on sufficient blood flow to receive the vital nutrients necessary for proper function. Conditions that can cause ischemia are coronary artery disease, also known as hardening or placking of the arteries. Diabetes will also result in ischemia along with peripheral arterial disease. Other chronic diseases that can cause ischemia are chronic kidney disease, high blood pressure, and obstructive sleep apnea. Even smoking and vaping have been found to result in ischemia. Now, here's where it gets exciting. Let's look at the many benefits lion's mane provides to your nervous system. It reduces inflammation and oxidation. It promotes myelin repair. Lion's mane protects peripheral nerves, the brain and the spinal cord from damage. It improves um, also mental clarity and cognition. It also protects against mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease. It can boost the immune system, Lion's mane promotes gut health by protecting against gastric ulcers and gastritis. It improves the quality of sleep and it improves mood. Now that's an impressive list. I've linked the research studies below that show these benefits. When Dr. C and I learned about all of this and looked at the research, we were absolutely floored. So do me a favor, leave a comment for us down below and tell us if this info is as surprising and exciting for you as it was for us. Now, let's look at how much lion's mane you need. Research has shown to evoke peripheral nerve repair, you need between 500 to 1,000 milligrams daily. However, if you're working with neurodegenerative diseases of the central nervous system like Alzheimer's, MS, or Parkinson's, the research has shown that you'll need to take up to 3,000 milligrams daily. Now, I know this question is gonna come up for those of you who are using our formula, Nephorio CM Gold with the lion's mane in it. 
you're probably wondering why we chose to use just a little over 500 milligrams of lion's mane in our new formula as opposed to going with the full 1000 milligrams. Well, there are a couple of reasons we chose to stay under 1000 milligrams. The first re reason is because we have other critical nutrients in this formula like our alpha lipoic acid, methylcobalamin, benfodiamine, P5P, and folate. And these all work synergistically together with the lion's mane to elevate its therapeutic benefit. Now, before adding lion's mane to our existing formula, we did a trial run to see how well a thousand milligrams of lion's mane performed on its own without the other critical nutrients. And what we found was that although lion's mane showed benefit with peripheral neuropathy, for severe or long-term cases, it wasn't potent enough to stand alone and really potentiate maximum nerve repair and regeneration. However, when we added it to our Neforia Gold formula, then the results improved drastically, even more so when combined with the nerve defense formula containing acetyl-L-carnitine and L-citrulline. Now, the second reason that we chose not to go with a higher dose of lion's mane in the formula is because lion's mane can act as a blood thinner. Now, this is only problematic for people taking anticoagulant medications or blood thinning medications. And we have a great many of our patients that are on these types of meds. So we found that staying safely under 1000 milligrams did not create further blood thinning issues for these patients we monitored for quite a long time their PTINR levels to make sure there would be no problems and there weren't. If any of you have any further questions on this, please feel free to call us at our toll-free number 844-400-0101 or email us with your questions at um, info at nephoria.com and we'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Well, gang, as we wrap up this incredible journey into the world of lion's mane and its remarkable benefits for peripheral nerves, I hope you've been as inspired as I have by the wonders of both nature and science. Remember, our bodies have an incredible capacity for healing and rejuvenation, and lion's mane is just one example of the magic that exists in the natural world. So, as you embark on your journey to recovery, always keep the spirit of curiosity alive. Nature has so much to offer us and our potential for growth and healing is limitless. I'd like to ask a small favor now. It's our mission to create a neuropathy-free tribe around the world so no one has to suffer with this illness. If you know anyone who could benefit from this video or any of our videos, please share it with them so they know they're not alone and more importantly, that they don't have to accept living a poor quality of life with this condition. Also, don't forget to like us and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on the bell to get notified as soon as we release new videos. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you, my friends, on the road to great nerve health. Blessings. Lion's mane mushroom, also known as Yamabu shiitake or monkey head mushroom, is well known for it. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to make it through that one. <laughs> Yamabu shiitake. <laughs>